Here we have the TT bit L1 S Crypt USB stick miner. Plugged into a powered USB hub. Connected again to a Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, trying to get the minimal, absolute minimum wattage usage here. So that's that's what this project is. You can see it's spun up and it's on. I got the Raspberry Pi turned on. Uh, currently, it is using 2.5 watts. And that is before it's mining. So we'll go ahead and get this guy going. So my clock speed I have set at 720. The default speed is 600. That usually gives you about 10 watts of draw. But 720. I uh, didn't modify any voltages or anything. So it's just the clock speed by itself. I'm sure you can get it a little more efficient. So with this clock speed setting, looks like I get somewhere between 3.9 and 4.5 mega hash based on uh, I guess how it's doing. It just kind of averages it out. So now that that's running, oh look, we accepted a block. Cool. Now that that's running, we'll see that this guy's got some status lights going on it. And some red blinky lights. I think there's a yellow one too. Uh, standard fan speed. We'll see what the voltage draw is over here. This guy's using about 9.5 watts. It's probably about 9.5 to 10 watts. So that's a little bit more efficient, surprisingly, than the Future Bit Moonlander 2. But, I mean, we're talking 0.5 to 1 watt. I don't know how specific you want to get, but it's the exact same setting and configurations. 10 watts. Boom. There you go. That's the TT-Bit L1 S-Crypt USB Miner.